for our first stand-up comedian of the night, Josh Blue! All right, here we are, Maryland Nightlife 10. Are we not excited? All right, yeah, yeah. I was actually a cast member in several past shows, and uh, I'm surprised I was gonna miss this one, you know? Because I'm feeling a little sick recently. But then I thought to myself, hey, it's 2023. Who at this point hasn't caught HIV? Right? I mean, guys, check the virus dashboard. It's spreading, all right? All right, let me, let me tell you a little bit about myself, right? So uh, my mom's black, my dad's white. It's a big deal now. But back in the early 90s when they started dating, things were difficult, right? This was a mixed couple of pre-Kardashian times, all right? Yeah, back then, the only famous mixed couple was OJ and Nicole. Yeah, we were down bad, son. Yeah. When my parents got divorced, neighborhood kids would come up to me and ask me if the glove didn't fit. Yeah. Yeah, they got divorced last year. These children are mean as shit today. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, man, I tell you. You know, my dad's side of the family, the white side, they were a little bit weird about it at first. I gotta be honest, like, uh, for the longest time, my dad's grandma would not even speak to my mom. And, you know, by the time I was born, you know, things were different, she'd outgrown it. So I try to see it from uh, her perspective these days, you know? Like, do you have any idea how old this woman was? <sighs> man, she used to tell me stories about what life was like for a black woman then. <laughs> yeah. She was actually born in 1908, BC, before colors. Yeah, it was a land before timing. Yeah, back then, when people would clap at concerts, it would sound like Morse code. Imagine a whole stadium full of people going. Ooh, yeah, it's very difficult, very difficult. And you know, think about my grandma, it's not like she didn't understand prejudice. She was a Jew in the 20s in Eastern Europe before she got to this country. Like, she understood prejudice, but she was ignorant. And uh, people do fucked up shit out of ignorance all the time. You can, you can see casual examples of it all around you, pay attention. Like, uh, like, what comes to mind me right now? Uh, I remember one time I was in this restaurant, and uh, I overheard this guy talking to one of the waitresses. Yeah. He, he was like, uh, so, where are you from? And she goes, Haiti. And he goes, ooh, tough spot. <laughs> yeah, she knows. That's why she's here and not there. You ever think about that? She's living the American dream, and you're waking her up with microaggressions. Calm down, sir. Like, nobody who's disadvantaged needs your help in putting it out, okay? Like, you wouldn't go up to a Paralympic athlete like, oh, you play wheelchair basketball, huh? Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, man. Eh, don't worry about it. The WNBA doesn't have a lot of dunks either. Yeah, you know, people watch that too, right? Yeah, so, uh, I started dating recently, broke up with my ex a while ago. And uh, something I'm still getting used to is that you gotta cover up your flaws a little bit when you meet somebody new, right? You know, you can't be too upfront in the very beginning. Like, if you ain't got a bed frame, you don't say that shit on the first day. Right? Like, you can't take a girl home for the first time like, Hey, babe, <laughs> how would you like to sit on my couch bed? <laughs> nah, bro, that date's over. What you were supposed to do is fold that bed back up to a couch, turn it into something fit to have sex on, you understand? We prefer when you have a cushion on top of the trip, all right? You gotta learn that shit quickly. Yeah, so, uh, my ex, uh, her first language wasn't English. Uh, we actually spoke Portuguese most of the time. And, uh, we argued a lot, so I actually got pretty good at it. Yeah, this is the moment that I knew that I was fluent in Portuguese, right? Uh, we were on vacation, we were in the hotel room, we were arguing over some stupid shit. Some stupid shit, right? And things got pretty heated, and I said to her in Portuguese, Eu sou quem pagou pelo hotel, então você vai embora caralho. Which in Portuguese means, I paid for the hotel, so you can get the fuck out. <laughs> Thank you, that was a good point. Thank you. Yeah, she was so mad, guys, she was so mad and how perfect my accent was. I had the colloquial grammar and everything. She was like, ooh, I can't get to the past no more. You know? Because that's the thing, like, if I couldn't keep up with the Portuguese, I would be screwed, guys. Like, you can't be in the middle of an argument flipping through the dictionary. Like, can you imagine how bad it would look if I was in the middle of an argument with my ex, like, oh yeah? So, you want me to go to dinner with your mother-in-law, huh? Well, I would if she wasn't such a, hold on a second. Such a puta! <laughs> yeah, you was high and mighty, so I flipped the page 273. This is an open note exam, bitch! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And you know, my ex, like, she wasn't a bad person or anything, it's just, we didn't get along. In most relationships, then, right? Most relationships. Then. Like, you learn over time that there will come a point where you gotta sit your partner down and be like, hey, we gave it a shot, but 
I'd rather fuck this hand than wake up next to you again. Okay? Because that's the thing, it's like you keep trying, but eventually you're just gonna be in a relationship with somebody you hate. You can't do that, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna hate them all day, go home, hate fuck them at night, hate cuddle them. I'm pretty sure that's just wrestling, actually. <laughs> hate sleeping next to them. You ever catch a girl hate sleeping next to you? You hear her snoring like, Ooh, I'm tired of you. <laughs> Well, the fuck you leave the dishes in the sink. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. Let's get. Let's go.